sound, what we call the whoosh sound, you can decide to include the, the sound of the fabric moving. The, the pacing, as you can tell, is a lot slower than compared to, say, Born or Marble. Okay, name two sounds that you can. The face. Yeah. Anyone has any questions about editing in general? No? Alright. So now we're gonna go into the, the more specific aspect of it. Yeah, go to this new project. So uh, from here you kinda wanna select which folder you wanna put it into. Okay, let's say that four strikes. I wanna I wanna speed it up, okay? So what I will do is I will track back to the You look like a does what are some challenges you think they will face in editing? Uh, I think the main challenge is actually just stitching the uh, clips together and then getting a good pacing out of it. Because like one of the challenges that I faced at the start was that I don't know when it comes to handles. I don't know where do I cut? Do I cut on action? Do I cut before, after? And like, does it make my pace slower? Does it make it pace faster? Does it make it bulky? So I think it's just getting the groove of the of the pace of the cuts and the reason for the cuts. When I'm fighting to the left and my forces go to the left, I go to the left. Then go to the right. And then up, down, up, in. Pam pam. I, I kind of went with my dodge and the kick went a bit down, so I went a bit down. Do you get the idea? What do you think is the biggest obstacle they'll face in editing? Okay, so for, for people who have never touched anything program before, I think the biggest challenge is going to be the user interface. Especially for programs like Premiere Pro, it is very not beginner friendly. So it will take some time to get used to like, even as something as simple as like dragging the clips, putting on a timeline and like doing simple cuts. Like, might take a while to get used to because it's very messy and there's like a lot of words on the screen. But uh, other than that, uh, the stuff that they're doing is not too complicated, so I believe that they can pick it up quite fast. So, yes, I have confidence in Ripley. So I noticed you've been going around to help a lot of them or give them advice. So what's one thing that you notice amongst all of them? Um, they tend to want to strive for perfection, which I think is not a bad thing to do. But what um, I think they should do is to focus on uh, the big picture and get the full edit out instead of worrying too much about tiny details, especially since not all of them have access to the software. So they should just practice the concepts they learn and then uh, not worry so much about their limitations. We're gonna go around and each of you guys are gonna show what you've got. Don't worry if it's imperfect, so it's fine. OTS, I wanted Lucas to walk in to an OTS mm. so it's a little bit more fluid. Then the brick is here now. Mm. Previously, the brick was. Mm. There. What's there? Uh, so how do I not break it? So you should have I just open? this has this should have been your, your semicircle. But don't go to the other side. Mm. Oh, the shake them nice. Awesome That's a good shot. Yeah. Mm. Woo! Nice. The slow more I feel could maybe be strategically used elsewhere might be better. Yeah. Okay, now that you've edited mm, basically almost your whole video already, what are your thoughts? My thoughts are that it's important to plan your shots because I think the biggest problem is uh, the footage limitations. Uh, some of the punches that we that we filmed did not connect and kind of show on camera. I'm still figuring out how to actually vibrate the screen so it looks like a legit punch. You know, you know those 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 like Hong Kong drama, the pa pa pa, like three different angles, right? I was thinking whether I can do that, but I feel like it will be very cheesy. <laughs> Well, a lot of people had like really cool ideas. Um, I think it's always like, I guess like an experiment, like especially trying something out for the first time, or like first-ish time. I don't know how much experience people have had, um, but yeah, uh, I think it feels very cool. There's a lot of like things to explore, and we're learning a lot about the theory of it and stuff. Which, at least for me, I wasn't so aware of to start. Uh, 
usually I edit like very dramatic stuff and today is the first time I I'm really truly getting my head in action stuff uh. so I still feel like it helped me a lot I've learned a lot of like tips and tricks like frame cuts you know um, taking off Conti and also like the variety in the shots so I'm still very happy like, I still feel like I learned a lot so that about covers it for basic editing uh, on a small note Next week will be your midterm exam.